We're in Norfolk on the Queen's lovely Sandringham estate for the annual charity shoot run by Nick Holt of Holt's Auctioneers. Her Majesty very kindly lets us use um, her back garden, so to speak, to um, have a clay shoot, um, and the proceeds go to various charities. Today's charity was, a, was Quest. It stands for the Queen Elizabeth's Scholarship Trust. It's her charity in aid of youngsters who have good with their hands, like gum making, that kind of thing. The course is set and run by the team from the Six Mile Bottom Estate and they've put on some challenging flush stands for the teams of four guns. That went all right, better than was expected considering a very old hammer gun. <laughs> Daryl Greatrex is here with his team from Holland & Holland, one of TSC's sponsors. They've got some 20 ball users among their team, and they'll be trying out these new shells from Ely Hawk. It's the new 20 ball version of Ely Hawk's Zenith load. It's a high performance game cartridge loaded with copper coated shot for superior range and patterning. The targets on this stand simulate crossing Argentinian doves, so they'll certainly test the shooter's skill as well as their guns and ammo. Sure enough, the Zenith 20 balls performed brilliantly, breaking the clays every bit as well as the 12 balls. The lovely thing for this charity, it fits an absolute treat because we're all about traditional crafts and the crafts involved in building a gun and keeping the land gamekeeping, woodmanship, you know, and all that sort of thing. Um, it is just what we're all about. So it fits beautifully. We funded engravers, um, we funded gun makers, you know, all sorts. So we're, we're and leather makers, of course, um, clothing, textiles, all the things involved with shooting, we funded. We like shooting ourselves, so it's a, it's a brilliant day for us and lovely that the charity's going to uh, earn some money, much needed money out of that as well. Shooting over, it's time for lunch. And what could be more appropriate than partridge? Game is available, it sits in the freezer all year round and uh, it's, it's high time people actually got it out of the freezer before the end of the, before the, end of the summer season so that uh, they can restock in a couple of weeks time and we're only around the corner from September when the partridges begin. We've had nobody falling over yet or complaining, so I think we're all right. And there's plenty left, so there'd be plenty for seconds as well. The secret is don't panic. Um, and also uh, knowing the limits. Don't try and overcomplicate things. Keep it really, really simple. Roast partridge, um, we've got a massive, great big rotisserie oven, so we can fit 120 partridges at a time in there. Yeah, had a fantastic time. The, the, it, the Nick runs a really good shoot, and it's a great... It's something it's, I really enjoy being involved with doing this. The scores are all in, and Nick presents the winners with their prizes. But of course, today is not so much about the winning. It's more about raising money for a good cause. Um, we made uh, £30,000, um, which um, I think after all the costs of putting this event together, I'll probably end up um, giving a net figure of about 22,000 to the, to the trust. And it's lovely to think that this is on our patron's land, which is brilliant as well. So I hope, I hope she gets to hear about it. If you see this video, Your Majesty, please thank you very much from Quest. <laughs>